Hey Rangers, today is Tuesday, February 2nd. I'm Vicki V and welcome back to another episode of CTV. Last Saturday, members of the Clements Mu Alpha Theta competed in the annual U of H math contest. Clements has won first place 12 out of the 17 times we've competed. Here are the results and make sure to congratulate all the students. Clements is fortunate enough to have two student athletes who were nominated for the 2021 Student Athlete of the Year Award. Our representatives are Taylor Michaud and Joseph McGuire. Congratulations, guys. Click the link below and make sure to vote for them. Now to Paulina and Fernanda. Hi, I'm Paulina, and today we're here with Issa and Andrew. And today they'll be competing in the CTV games. Hi, um, I'm Issa, and I think I'm going to win because I'm just better at Andrew and everything. Um, I'm Andrew and she's not going to be winning today. I'm going to be winning because I'm stronger, faster, and smarter, and there's just no way she's going to win. Our first challenge of the day is a basketball challenge. So the first person to make a layup, a free throw, and a three-pointer wins the challenge. Our second challenge of the day is the penalty shootout. <laughs> and here we have Issa to explain our third challenge of the day. The third challenge is dodgeball, so the first person to catch the ball or hit the other person wins. <laughs> Obviously, this uh, game didn't go very good. Well, I'm happy I won. I came in very confident. I'm winning because I'm stronger, faster, and smarter. It just didn't work out. I wasn't tough, smart, and dependable. I ended up being awful, and Issa is clearly better than me. This just proved that I am better than Andrew, but she's okay. I don't really know what else to say to you guys. Andrew out. <laughs> Now we know who's the more athletic one. Be on the lookout for a rematch. Now back to the anchors. Thanks guys. Varsity Girls Basketball plays Wednesday at Austin at seven. Varsity Boys Basketball plays at Clements versus Austin at seven on Wednesday. And again on Saturday at George Ranch at one. Varsity Girls Soccer plays Wednesday at Travis at 7.30. And again on Saturday at noon on the Ranger Field versus Austin. Varsity Boys Soccer plays Wednesday on the Ranger Field versus Travis at 7.30 and then again on Saturday at Austin at 12.30. Varsity Tennis plays Friday versus Clear Lake, Tompkins, and Seven Lakes. And Varsity Swim has their regional prelims on Friday and Saturday at Don Cook. Now to Grayson Jr. with our basketball team. Um, I'd say the season's been different this year just due to schedule changing and not being able to play certain teams. Yeah, so in regards to COVID, we're doing the best we can. We're trying to distance as much as we can, and we're filling out the forms every day. And we try not to go out to make sure our season stays intact. I think what makes this team special is our team camaraderie, you know, how everybody on the team love each other, you know, we always pump each other up, you know, it's always positive energy around everybody. Uh, I feel like a special moment this year is when we played Austin uh, away, because uh, we won big and uh, everyone got in and everyone cheered each other on, it was a fun game. Uh, I thought a special moment was when we had team pictures and we were just messing around, you know, having a good time with the, all, the, all the boys and, you know, all the seniors. As a senior, some of the things I can carry over to college is staying calm, cool, and collected. When things don't go wrong, uh, sit there, figure it out, don't be in a rush, and be respectful to the, old, uh, the older ones, and take advice. That's it. Thanks, guys. And now for some world news. Hi, everyone. This is Levin, and welcome back to another segment of World News. Starting off, Russia's opposition leader Alexei Navalny faces intense prison charges after becoming a large thorn against Putin's leadership. Many of his supporters were detained at a protest following his arrest late earlier this week. 
In other news, Sundance Film Sets Festival is set to be going virtual this year due to COVID-19. The tickets will be $15 per stream and it'll be ending on Wednesday, February 3rd. Coachella also remains one more major festival amongst hundreds affected by COVID-19, closing its doors for its attendees for a third time in a row this year. In other news, Spotify has announced their development plan for a mode that analyzes audiences' voices to detect their mood and offer song choices. Thank you all so much for watching today's segment of World News. Now let's go back to the anchors. Happy birthday to Mr. Turner, Mr. Goal, Miss Lineman, Miss Campbell, and Miss Clark, who all have birthdays this week. This Friday is a spirit day, so make sure you wear your blue. I'm Vicky V, and thanks for watching another episode of CTV. See y'all later.